More than 100 riders from Australia and New Zealand reenacted the 1912 light horse charge into the southern Israeli desert town of Beersheba. The event marked the 100th year anniversary of the victory of the Battle of Beersheba by the British Army and the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps known as ANZAC. Now, three generations later, the riders represented the 800 fearless ANZAC cavalrymen who, against all odds, defeated 4,000 armed and embedded Turks while on horseback with only bayonets in hand. That was no small victory. It was the turning point that ended 400 years of Ottoman Turkish rule and eventually paved the way for the establishment of the State of Israel. Exactly 100 years ago, brave Anzac soldiers liberated Beersheba for the sons and daughters of Abraham and opened the gateway for the Jewish people to re-enter the stage of history. Sadly, many young Anzac soldiers would not return home. Today, more than 1,200 men who fell in battle lie in a newly constructed cemetery nearby. Remarkably, on the very same day, at the same time, thousands of miles away in London, the British War Cabinet were having a meeting which led to the Balfour Declaration and the mandate to establish a national homeland for the Jewish people in Palestine. Thousands of Australian and New Zealand visitors came to witness the reenactment, proud of their country's contribution to the creation of the State of Israel and proud of the bravery of their young soldiers who charged the Turkish Beersheba stronghold 100 years to the day. Anzac warriors would go on to capture Jerusalem, Tiberias and the North, retracing the footsteps of heroes of the Bible. While those young men may not have foreseen, no doubt did not foresee, the extraordinary success of the State of Israel, its indomitability against overwhelming odds, their spirit was the same. And like the State of Israel has done ever since, they defied history, they made history, and with their courage, they fulfilled history. Marnie Blom, Axe News Network, Israel. Axe News Network. From Jerusalem to the nation. This morning, Hamas fired a rocket that hit the school. What's really important? It's now 80% of the council's resolutions are against Israel. Visit Axe News Network. Accessible, informative, inspiring. Future peace negotiations, you know, Jerusalem is so central to the Jewish people. Celebrating life, preparing for war. Axe News Network, online with the Times.